Push it up the middle of the floor. Orlando to the corner. Here's Jolin right to the hoop. Up and too strong off the glass. Orlando, though, the second opportunity is good. Timeline going. Matched up against Thornton once more. Nogish pops it up for three, and that one is pure. Five minutes of play. Yep. Replacing her is Kayla Webb. Quite a fantastic debut as Faye converts on the inside. Fires have checked in Erlet Scott. Scott looking for Cooper on the slash to the hoop. And a nice lay in that time for Andrea Cooper, the sophomore. Inside she goes for Geary. Cooper now, a scoop shot up and in and one. Her personal has had her sideline. Friars very deliberate on this possession. Williams, a nice little feed for Baskerville. Horton now, matched up against Williams. Faye, wide open look for three, and that is the first made three-pointer of the game. Clear for Faye. Heard now from the corner, and she drains the three. Well, last year, the Bobcats routed the Friars 62 to 36. Faye from downtown, she's Orlando feeling it. Orlando leaves it off for Spiewak. Outside, Webb for three, hits it. A much needed three point basket for Warfel. Matched up against Cooper. Wide open Stroutman, and she cans it. They hold up and turn it over. In transition, McClure for the easy bucket for and Scott. one. Nogich curling around, looking for some space. Fires it inside for Geary. Geary, a little reverse layup and in. Hurt, good cut. Back inside, she finds Ward. Jaden Ward, rejected by Geary again. Ward, Mary Seth. Baskerville. Here's McClure, a little spin and off the glass. Time for Ward, no good. Here come the Friars, possible chance for Orlando takes it coast to coast. She's it up Olivia four. Williams has Jolin for three. Got it. Maddie Jolin, a big time three ball. Williams down the lane all by herself, up and in. And Williams is fired up. Fired. Back outside for Geary, and now Williams. Down to three on the shot clock. Williams needs to get the shot off. For Jolin, with time expiring on the shot clock, gets it Orlando. to go. Trying to work through a screen set by McClure. Faye, the fadeaway, gets it to go. Tough shot again. Williams now, final seconds. Puts up the three, no good, and Quinnipiac will come out on top here tonight, 48-44.